Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back at Universal, but you know, I'm here like every other day. Yeah. But I was here the other day and I saw someone get in trouble. So I thought I should make a video on what you cannot do while in the parks. Oh. And also, I have the weirdest story of how to get kicked out of the park. Oh. Stay tuned for that one. Okay. Let's dispense with the obvious real quick. No alcohol, no drugs, or no weapon. Uh, what about glass containers and open containers? No glass containers, but here's the deal with like open containers, because I bring a water bottle with me like all the time. And I reuse it over and over. Uh, and they tell me it's okay in the mornings. If, if it's open, it's already open. But they say after five, I wouldn't be able to bring it in. So supposedly, if I was to bring that already open ball of water and after five they would make me like trash it oh okay i've never tried it after five but it works in the morning uh but another thing you cannot do at universal studios is bring wheeled suitcases or wheeled bags huh personally i have seen people with wheeled suitcases in the park i don't know why i don't know like they just got off the plane and they can't wait to get inside the park or what but even though it's not allowed i've seen it what about like coolers and stuff? I mean, there's wheeled coolers. I'll get to that in a bit. You know what? I'll just get to it right now since you asked. But I would imagine since wheeled suitcases are not allowed, wheeled coolers would not be allowed either, Nick. Right, that makes sense. But here's the thing. No, like, hard case coolers are allowed. Oh, really? They do allow, like, soft coolers. Okay. But it has to be a certain size. It can't be bigger than eight and a half inches wide, six inches high or six inches deep okay so that's kind of like uh what you would take like to lunch as a kid like a lunch box well it, it's just as long as it's that size or smaller oh but it a small soft-sided cooler right okay but i assume that could not have wheels either <laughs> i don't know why you wanted to but there you go <laughs> so the reason for that cooler size restriction could be because of something else you cannot do at universal what you cannot bring a picnic lunch into the park Really? That's news to me. I thought you could. You can bring small snacks, but you can't bring a picnic lunch or food that requires refrigeration or heating. Okay, well the heating makes sense, but I mean, an ice pack? Like, what if you brought in a sub? I don't know if that qualifies as a picnic lunch or not. Okay. I guess if it fits in that little cooler, maybe. But I mean, you can bring like baby food or like special dietary needs food. Okay. But I guess if you have a hard-sided cooler with a picnic lunch, keep it in your car and go back to your car at lunchtime. Okay. <laughs> I guess since we're by Popeyes and Blue Dose Barges, I should mention another thing you cannot do is go shoeless or shirtless, even on this ride. Not allowed. Keep that shirt on. Keep those shoes on. Before we move on, talking about things you cannot do at Universal, I have a correction to make. In a previous video, which is popping up right here, I said that Wimpy was a character from the Blondie comic. That was incorrect. Wimpy's is from the Popeye comics and the Popeye cartoon, so my bad. I'm actually surprised how many people knew Wimpy's was from Popeye's and not Blondie's based on the number of comments I got correcting me. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Keeping him on the straight and narrow, I swear. Hey, but another thing you cannot do at Universal, you cannot bring a folding chair. Well, that makes sense. Well, I mean, I guess some people may have tried in the past. They want a good spot for the parade, right? <laughs> well, you know what's awesome, though, is that I've seen canes that fold out to a little chair, especially at Halloween Horror Nights. So exactly. maybe that will work. If you need a chair, use Have one of those canes. Cane that, chairs. Yeah, exactly. One of those. <laughs> If I can find one, I'll put one in my Amazon store. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, the chairs that you bring to a sporting event, like to a soccer game to watch your kid play, you cannot bring those to watch the parade. Well, that makes sense. Another thing, you, as the Jurassic Park River Adventure goes by, I didn't get wet. I'm close to the splash zone, but not in it. A little mist, though. 
Uh, another thing you cannot bring to Universal would be a selfie stick. Even though I see it in the park all the time, technically they are not allowed. Since we're over here by the Jurassic Park River Adventure, I think it's a good time to tell you that story of the weirdest way to get kicked out of Universal Studios. So I was in line one day for the Jurassic Park River ride and it went down for a little bit. It was delayed. So I asked a team member what was the delay for and he said it's because someone jumped out of the little boat. What? They jumped out of the boat. Now the funny thing is, Why? <laughs> you know, I don't know if what section they jump out at. If it's because they want to jump out and go get a closer look at the dinosaurs or if it's in the building and they want to jump out into the little building, you know, that, that has all the crazy stuff going on, the big T-Rex. Are they crazy? I imagine it's for the part of the ride that has the outside dinos. But here's the funny thing is, as I was talking to him, he said it happens quite often. Nuh-uh. What? What are in these people's minds exactly. to jump out of a moving water ride to go look at a little fake dinosaur? I don't know. Oh my word. So there you go guys. The weirdest way, the strangest way to get kicked out of Universal. Pop off of Jurassic Park River Adventure. As we head into Hogsmeade, there's another thing I should tell you, you cannot do in the parks. What? Wear a costume or a mask. What? So no masks, no costumes, but uh, here in Hogsmeade, we see a lot of people Harry Potter bounding. Yes, dressing like their favorite house or their favorite uh, character. Even their favorite character, yeah. So, and we see almost, I would say, cosplay. Yes, definitely. There's specific days when um, groups of like, clubs get together mm -hmm. and we'll cosplay like back to Hogwarts Day yep. and then um, there was the celebration of Harry Potter Sen days right which doesn't isn't around anymore but um, there's days like that so check out those Facebook groups uh, I think one of them is like slug club and things like that mm -hmm. that figure out the days that they're bounding and then come and dress as your, your favorite character yes but I'm here so often even on like any regular day I'll see a lot of people bounding That's and true. E I'll even see some cosplay players like I see like Mrs. Weasley quite often or not quite often but on, on several occasions right I've even seen like a Jurassic Park one the original Jurassic Park with the guy and the girl yes uh, I've seen that as well yes now you can't get your face painted but that's, that's in the park that's true you can get your face painted in the park and then um especially like around uh Halloween Horror Nights too yeah you know that's another but you can't wear a costume you, to Halloween Horror Nights no you can't Mm -hmm. And the other thing you cannot do, you cannot wear or bring clothing that would represent yourself as an emergency responder or even a team member. Like you couldn't wear some, like an outfit that the team members wear, wearing a name tag. They don't want you to misrepresent yourself as being a team member or an emergency responder in the park. So you cannot wear or bring clothing that would represent those two factions. Well, that makes sense. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, so one of my favorite uh, founders Universal is Brandon Townsend. Um, he is no joke, probably one of the best founders I've ever seen here. And we've seen him be several, several characters. We've seen him be uh, like uh, Curious George. Yeah, like the what's, he wears all yellow. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know his name. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and, like he does everything. At Christmas time, he was um, Clark W. Griswold. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he's great. Yeah. yeah. So bounding cool costumes, no bueno. <laughs> Not quite at the end yet, guys. You're almost there, though. I want to remind you, click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. The last thing I want to mention, the last two things, and they're unrelated, you cannot bring a pet into the parks and then no drones. The landowner actually owns a column of air above the land up to like 500 feet. And then after 500 feet, it's controlled by the FAA. So don't bring your drones into Universal for those great aerial shots. Believe you me, if drones were allowed, I'd be using it to give you guys some great aerial shots. Until then, I just, I just throw Nikki really high up in the air with the camera. <laughs> My cheerleading day is coming back at me. <laughs> So there you go guys, a few things you cannot do when visiting Universal Studios. And I would like to end on this point. For the love of God, people, stop jumping out of the Jurassic Park River Adventure. For the love of God, stop doing that. <laughs> and as always, guys. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Right on.
time. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now, it's time to relax.